Oh, we got a very interesting one here today to deal with. Uh, so let's just dive in. The statement reads, two charges plus or minus Q approach the origin at constant velocity from opposite directions along the X axis. They collide and stick together, forming a neutral particle at rest. Sketch the electric field before and shortly after the collision. Now remember that electromagnetic news travels at the speed of light. How would you interpret the field after the collision physically? Okay, now of course we're gonna have a footnote for this question that I'll go ahead and type in and I'll link to the paper. But uh, that being said, let's go ahead and see what we have. So, just before the field lines emanate from the present position of the particle. Uh, that being said, positive flows out, you know, in the same electric fields that we would expect from a point charge, negatives flow in, uh, the things that we would expect. Um, but just after the field lines outside of the sphere of radius CT, because that's the new sphere, emanate from the position of the particle would have reached had it kept up on the original flight plan. Inside, however, are going to be E equals zero because everything's going to uh, cancel out. On the surface, the lines connect up since they cannot simply terminate in empty space. As suggested in the figure, this produces a dense cluster of tangentially directed field lines which expand with the spherical shell. This is a pictorial way of understanding the generation of electromagnetic radiation. Um, which, by the way, 3Blue1Brown released a video not too long ago showing the stuff as well. So go check them out. All right, so just before, as you might have imagined, negative has the field lines pointing in, positive has it pointing out. Now the interesting part here, at the, just after the collision, we can only travel at the speed of light, hence the direction and... Um, where we're at in space is traveling out spherically symmetric by a radius of CT. Okay, so moments after, then we can keep keep expanding the news. Um, but that being said, you see we get the tangential components here. Again, we're still looking at what it would have been had the flight plan kept going. So positive is to the left, negative is to the right, and then we're self-correcting because we have to flow from the flight plan uh, afterwards from a uh, negative flowing this way uh to the positive so this is just a very very weird situation but to understand what happens after we have to understand that the collision is going to take time to send out the information so otherwise we would simply just see what we did ha what we thought would have happened had things been not interacted and been continuing on anyways this picture right here is probably the most fascinating i've seen in a while with it because of the fact that we can't just terminate these field lines as stated in the uh, written part. So they have to connect hand gently here. And that is just fascinating. What a whirlwind of events with the relativistic regime. But, you know, this insight is actually really cool to have. So uh, that being said, we'll see you in a couple more questions.